Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Today we will talk about lesson two. I wanna eat one, and we will focus on reading comprehension skill, which is compare and contrast. Our objective for today's lesson is. You will be able to use graphic organizers to compare and contrast. Now, if you look at these two animals, I want you to look at them and try to tell me how are they alike and how are they different. It is very clear that both of them are animals and they both live on land. Now, if we move to talk about differences, the giraffe has a long neck, whereas the elephant has a long trunk. Another difference is that the elephant has two horns, but the giraffe doesn't. Now, when I show that these two animals are alike, I compare between them. When I show differences, I contrast. Now, Open please your reading street book on page 236. So, what I want you to do first is underline the meaning of compare. and contrast. Now, let's read a text to compare and contrast between Snuggles and Tippy. And we will read the text on page 237. It is very clear that the title of this text is Snuggles and Tippy. And these are the two main characters that we are going to compare and contrast. Let's first focus on the first paragraph and let's read the first paragraph and keep in your mind that we will focus on the two main characters. The first one is Snuggles and the second one is Tippy. Let's start. Rita had a small black cat named Snuggles. The cat had bright green eyes. Her neighbor Joe had a big black dog he called Tippy. Tippy had a white spot on the tip of his tail. Now, if we need to start talking about Snuggles, It is very clear that Snuggles is a cat, whereas Tippy is a dog, and they are both animals. Now, let's check the size of each animal. Snuggle is small, but Tippy is big. If we need 
to compare their color. The color of snuggle is black and the color of tippy is black too. All right. Now it's your turn. You will have a story. You need to read the story to compare and contrast between Blake and Ron. This is the story. Ron and Blake wanted a puppy. But Dad always said, a dog is hard work. One day, Dad surprised them. He said, if you two can find a solution to the puppy care problem, we will visit a breeder tomorrow. Ron and Blake thought fast. Dogs need exercise said Ron. I'll take our puppy for walks, said Blake. I'll pet our puppy. Dogs make a mess, said Ron. Boys have a good plan. Dad agreed. Tomorrow we will get our new pup. Let's now compare and contrast between Blake and Ron. Both of them want a puppy. They will both help care for a puppy. For Blake, he will walk the puppy, but Ron will pet the puppy. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.